Hey, hello everybody! Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Mammoth Squaddy added in GTA Online. Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four Nine Seven Five. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Mammoth Squaddy. This was added yesterday actually on the 4th of February. I wasn't able to record it yesterday so I'm recording it today a day later. So I apologise for that. Before we get into to the video, if you are new to the channel, we are trying to reach a thousand subs. So it'd be great if you could like, subscribe and comment. But yeah, let's get straight into this thing. Um, I've just purchased this vehicle. It does cost quite a bit so let's have a look at the price of it on the store actually it is on warsaw cash and carry and it costs 1.13 million dollars uh, for effectively a modified version of the patriot that we already have which is the hummer we already have in the game so is it worth the price i don't know yet it has a lot of great customization that we're going to check out in a second and at the end of this video I will do like a short review um, and I also want to compare it to the Vitea that we uh, tested last week which if you've missed that video I will leave an eye in the top of your screen now so you can go and watch that so here is the Mammoth Squaddy you can see it is basically a modified Patriot as I said it has this pickup area at the back and this hideous looking exhaust which uh, we can change, which is really nice. Well, let's actually hop into the thing, have a look at what customization we've got for it, and then we'll take it for a bit of a road test. All right, so here we are in the workshop. Let's first go ahead and slap on some armor. Then we've got some bodywork options. So we've got none. We can go for a black roll bar. We've got the black gladiator roll bar, which just adds some extra supports in there. Then we've got a chrome roll bar and a chrome, chrome gladiator roll bar. Then we've got the low profile side rails, which are like some wooden rails, I guess. We've got the troop carrier side rails, just adds another rail on there. Then we've got the side rails with canopy frame. That looks really ugly. Um, we've got the freight heavy troop uh, carrier side rails which are just a little bit different they've got some metal ones there and then we've got that version with the canopy frame then we've got the side rail rails armored panels which also has some like I think they're rucksacks hanging off the side they're very very low texture um, that looks a little bit strange but okay then we've got the canopy version of that then we've got the heavy rails armoured panels, which just adds more rucksacks. I don't get why there's a rucksack on each side here and then just two on the left on this side. I don't know. And then we've got that version with the canopy. Not really a huge fan of any of those. Now, I know this thing is an army vehicle. It is on the Warstock Cash and Carry website, but I'm going to go for like a civilian off-road Hummer build with this. So I'm thinking one of these first two with the roll bars, they look pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with the black gladiator roll bar. Uh, then we'll go ahead and put race brakes on it. Front bumper options. Um, I don't know if it's going to change the bull bars as well. Let's have a look. So we've got the stock bumper, which is just this nice billeted bar with some tow hooks. We've got the off-road crux bumper, which adds a winch in there. We've got the black off-road ridge bumper, which has a slightly different winch on there. We've got the stinger off-road bumper. We've got the off-road shield bumper, the ridge bumper. Oh, these are in chrome now. So we've got all those options in chrome if you want to go for that. Then we've got the low profile bumper, which is very similar to the stock one, just a bit bigger. We've got that in chrome. Then we've got that in the primary colour, secondary colour, and then we've got the black low profile with a winch, and we've got that in chrome. 
Um, I think I want to go for one of these quite wide ones uh, with a winch again in black. Uh, not really sure which one I like. I don't like the chrome ones. I think maybe this one looks quite nice. So I will go with that. On the rear bumper, I guess these are going to be very similar. So we can go for the bumper bars. We've got a chrome version of that. And then we've got the trail bumper, the stinger bumper. We've got a chrome trail bumper and chrome stinger. And then we've got the heavy plated bumper, which actually has like a tow bar or like an attachment point for a tow bar. And then we've got that in chrome. That looks absolutely hideous. Um, I'm not sure what I want to go for here. Hmm. I think maybe the stinger bumper because it has those little vents on the front and then it has the little vents to match on the back so I think we'll go with that. The chassis options we've got the stock chassis we can go with the uh, stowage racks which adds those racks out each side that doesn't really fit the vehicle then we've got that with ammo boxes and jerry cans we've got a weapons crate and ammo boxes We've got the camo net and ammo boxes, which add some camo nets. That's actually quite cool. And then we've got the camo net and weapon crates. Uh, if you're going for an army build, I guess it's quite cool. It is an army vehicle. I don't think they really fit the build I'm going for. So I'm just going to leave those off. Just stock. Then on the door options, uh, we have the stock door. We have the primary stock door. Let me actually just quickly change up the secondary and primary colours just so you can see what the difference is. I'll set the primary as red and then we'll set the secondary as blue. I'm not going to be leaving it as this. That's just so you can see what the primary and secondary colour is changing. Uh, let's go back to the doors here. So we've got the stock door. We got the primary door which blends it all in there nice. We got the primary with X plated door, so it just has a smaller X on the door. We got secondary with X plated doors. We got the primary beveled door, secondary beveled door, primary beveled armor door, which actually adds some armor plating on the window. We got a secondary version of that. Then we've got the primary beveled armor plated which adds some armor plating on the side um, and then we've got a secondary version of that we've got the primary plated doors which adds that little like contour around and more plating we've got a checker plated primary checker plated door okay and then we've got a secondary version of that and then we've got the primary medium armored doors so these are like what the actual Hummer in real life has on them. And then we've got a secondary version of that. Then we've got the primary armoured doors. Which is just a little bit bigger. And a secondary version of that. Um, since I'm keeping this like kind of a street vehicle. Uh, well I'm building it as an off-road vehicle but a civilian one. I think I might just go for the primary X plated. That looks okay engine we'll go ahead and slap that on exhaust options so we can actually get rid of that hideous exhaust up there i don't know why that's a thing so we can go for the side exit chrome exhaust we can go for the side exit titanium we've got the trail then we've got the dual chrome we've got the dual titanium the dual trail and we got the low exit, so it's like the stock one, but it's a little bit shorter. That's actually not too bad. And then we've got the dual version of that, so it has one on each side. And then we've got the dual high exit exhausts, which is the stock one, but one on each side now. I think I like the dual, maybe the dual trail exhausts. They're very, very low texture but I do think they look quite nice so I'm gonna go with that the grill options so we got the stock grill we can go for a black grill guard so this is actually gonna change the bull bar I think 
Um, so that adds in like a classic Hummer looking grill. Okay. Uh, we've got a painted version of that. Then we've got the grill guard with blank fogs. Okay, so as those two little fog lights in the middle portion there, you can't really see them very well. We've got the chrome grill guard with LED bar, so it has an LED bar in the middle. We've got the uh, grill guard with fogs, so you can see those four fogs in the middle. We've got the black wide grill guard, okay. We've got the primary version of that with fogs and then we've got the oh so this is blank fogs and then the same with open fogs we've got the wide grill with four open fogs we got a chrome version of it we've got the narrow grill guard with led bar then we got the primary bull bar with the led bar and four open uh, fogs okay there's a lot of options here 20 options in fact we got a chrome version of that then we've got the heavy, the black heavy brush guard, so that goes up the bump, uh, up the uh, hood area as well. That is a real thing. I've seen Hummers with this, and then we got a chrome version of that. Then we got the brush guard with blank fogs, two more little fogs in the middle. We got a chrome version with three little fogs in the middle, and then we got the black brush guard with four fogs. And then that with the LED bar. So there's a lot of options actually to choose from, which is really nice. It doesn't actually change the grill, I noticed. It's changing the bull bar, but that's fine. Um, I think I want to go with something with fog lights in. Um, if you guys have watched my SnowRunner series, then you'll know I'm a big fan of fog lights on vehicles. I don't know what it is, it just looks cool. Um, not too keen on these later ones. Uh, I think maybe just one of these first ones looks quite nice. I actually like just this one. Uh, let me have another look here. Maybe this one with the four lights in the front. That looks pretty cool. I'll go with that. Then we've got some hood options. I do like the stock hood. That looks really cool. But we can go for a primary with rook sack bag that really restricts your view as well so you can't actually see where you're going that's a bit dumb but if you're going for that army build I guess it's quite cool we can go for the full secondary hood if you want to we've got the vented scoop hood which has just one scoop in the middle we can go for a secondary version of that then we've got the small module events and we've got that in secondary medium module events and that in secondary, the triple module events and that in secondary then we got the primary plastic hood cover um, I guess that's quite cool kind of protects your hood if you're off-roading we got that in secondary and then we got the primary chrome vented cover and that in secondary um, I think I'm just gonna leave the stock hood actually I really like how that looks um, we can go for a horn option I think we'll go ahead and put a truck horn on this since it is kind of a big truck the headlights are stock are quite yellow already we can go for some xenon ones if we want or we can go for white they're already pretty white so I'm just gonna leave those now we do have some livery options so we got the basic camo Zancudo camo sprayed camo three color outline these are all gun running liveries for those of you who don't know. We got the 90s Sandbox, Modern 5 Color, Arid Theater, Winter Camo, Urban Warrior. We got Nature Reserve, Naval Battle. These are all going to be locked, but they're basically all the um, gun running liveries that you can put on this that we've all seen before. Um, I haven't unlocked any of these. You unlock these through researching the bunker if you don't know. Uh, so let's move on to mirrors next. So we do have some quite big mirrors on this thing. Uh, so we can go for a secondary mirror, which is going to be blue. We can go for the black modern mirrors. They look hideous. That No, no, no. That does not suit this vehicle. Um, we can... Go for those in secondary, then we've got the long stem mirrors. 
they're a bit better. Um, they're kind of like the stock ones, just a bit smaller, so they actually fit a bit nicer. We can go for those in secondary, and then we got the black bolted wide mirrors and those in secondary. I think honestly, just the stock mirrors look the best, so I'm going to leave those. We'll go ahead and slap on the number plate there. Um, respray options we'll come back to at the end. I always like to put all the parts on first and then pick out a colour at the end. So roof options now. We've got the stock roof which is also our secondary colour. We've got a roof rack which adds some uh, little fogs on there as well, some square fog lights. We've got a chrome version of that. We've got the cargo roof rack which just adds a few bars on there. And we've got that in chrome. Then we've got the roof basket with fog lights. Uh, so that's the same fog lights that we have on the front. And we've got that in chrome. Then we've got an LED bar version of that. And then we've got a second LED bar. You can go absolutely nuts with LED bars on this thing if you want to. And then we've got the military style with some crates and ammo boxes on there. Um, I'm not really too keen on any of these. I do like fog lights, but I'm not too keen on this kind of roof rack. It doesn't look that great, so I think I'm just going to leave the stock roof, actually. We will change up the secondary colour probably to match. Um, we have got some skirt options on here. So standard, no skirt. We can go for the rhino sidestep. We've got black running steps. We got a chrome version of that. We got the black ridge steps, a chrome version. We got the nerf bars. Then we got the nerf bar with the little chrome plate down there. We got the black running boards. We got the black trail running boards. The chrome running boards and the chrome trail running boards. And then we got the trail side step, which is basically the same but like a painted version. We got the crook side step. And then we got the singer, stinger, sorry, side steps. Um, hmm, they all stick out a little bit too wide, is my thing, and they also reduce our ground clearance. And if we're going for an off-road build, that is not what you want. So I'm going to leave that suspension. You can actually get quite a big drop in this if you want to, but obviously, again, off-road build. So I'm going to leave it at full height. We'll go for race transmission and turbo tuning. Then we need to pick out some wheels. So I'm obviously going to put some off-road wheels on. I do like these stock wheels. I think they go nicely with the vehicle. So it's a shame they didn't tie that into the uh, like the primary or the secondary colour. It's a bit of a missed opportunity. But anyway, um, I'm going to go straight to the new wheels. They look very Hummer-esque. Or something like those. Um, I do like these kind of beadlock wheels. They look very nice. So after looking through all the options, I found these mudslinger ones. I think they look really, really nice. So we'll go with that. Um, how do they look in chrome, actually? They do look quite good in chrome. I think we will go for them in chrome, in fact. Um, tire options. We can go for some custom tire lettering. Not really a fan of that. Put some bulletproof tyres on. Not a fan of tyre smoke either. We'll just go ahead and tint that window just to light smoke. It looks a bit better. And then we just need to go back in and actually change the primary and secondary colour. And there we go. I've decided to go with a matte yellow. I don't often go for matte colours. But since it's kind of a military vehicle and we're going to take it off road, I feel like the matte actually looks really good. So I've gone for the matte yellow primary and then I decided the matte black roof actually looks pretty good. Um, just add something up there, kind of splits it up a little bit. And that is going to be my finished build. That is the, um, I keep wanting to call this the Patriot, but in fact it is actually the Squaddy. Uh, let's actually take this thing off-road now and see how it drives. Okay, so here we are up in Grapeseed. I wanted to compare this thing to the Vitea that we tested last week. That unfortunately could not actually make it up Mount Chiliad. So this week we're going to take the Squaddy up Mount Chiliad 
and if we can make it all the way up then we know it's a good off-road vehicle but something i wanted to point out which i found kind of interesting is although this thing is not weaponized in any way you can upgrade it in the moc or avenger to be weaponized it does actually have its own icon on the minimap which i found kind of interesting since yeah it's not a weaponized vehicle Something else I found kind of neat is the fog lights on the grill there, they actually work. So it's always nice when they work. I don't know whether any of the LED bars or other light upgrades actually work. I assume that they do, but that's something you'd have to test for yourself. I can confirm the upgrade I have here, they do work. So I'm assuming that all the other upgrades probably work as well. But we're going to take this thing up Mount Chiliad here. You can see it's like racing up Mount Chiliad much faster than last week. Now, just driving this thing here, I noticed it is actually a pretty fast vehicle. It's in the SUV class, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know how it compares to the Tauros and some of the other faster SUVs. But it is a pretty fast vehicle. Um, it's, not some, it's not as fast as some of the sports cars but it is right up there so let's see if we can climb up these rocks we could climb over these in the Vatia and the squaddy has absolutely no issues with that and here we are at the top of Mount Chiliad it had absolutely no issues climbing up Mount Chiliad and there we go right at the top that's the cable car over there now can I recommend the squaddy to you well Firstly, it has a lot of great customization. I think this thing has some amazing options in the LSC. So if you want something good for off-roading that has lots of customization and is based off one of the coolest military vehicles ever made, then I can suggest the Squaddy to you. The $1.13 million price tag is a little bit hefty, I have to agree. Um, since this thing is not actually weaponized uh, so if you are short on funds maybe wait for this thing to go on discount but if you've got plenty of money then maybe consider buying this thing especially if you have an off-road car collection like myself it is a great addition to your garage but that's going to do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed taking a look at the brand new mammoth squaddy in gt online if you did, please smash the like button and subscribe for more. As I mentioned at the start, we're trying to reach a 1,000 subs. So if you want to help us out with that, it'd be greatly appreciated. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.